without naming any names, years, situations, or whatever, what's a typical amount of money that someone puts on someone's head? Uh, it depends on how, you know, it depends on who it is. It all depends on who it is. On average, like what's an amount of money that you've heard people put on someone's head? Uh, it depends on how big the fish is. <laughs> what's the smallest amount you've ever heard? Uh, two bands, you know, 1500 Two, 1500 There are dudes out there that will kill someone for $1,500. Yeah, two bands. You can't even go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy something nice for that amount of money. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I'll blast you for twenty five hundred, two bands. What's the most that you've heard? A uh, hundred pack, nigga, put a hundred pack. Hmm. Wow. Two I assume I assume that was just some Italian mafia type shit. Nah, this street shit. Hmm. Yeah. You know how many niggas they got in the streets with a hundred thousand more than you could think of? More than you went to high school with. Now, now, what what happens in a situation where you go and do that and you go to collect and you can't get your money? Which I'm sure happens a lot. Uh, I don't think that happens. I don't think that really happens. Really? Nah. Once the job done, I don't think that really happens. I never saw that happen. Uh, I never saw that happen where somebody done something and they don't they don't collect for you. Well, now, now you're dealing with an actual killer who, who you owe money to. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've never heard of that. That shit in the movies, Vlad. I never heard of that shit. Like. No, I got you. I guess that that's the type of person that, I mean, you don't have to wonder if they're a killer or not. <laughs> you know? You, <laughs> you don't want you don't want to It's like, hey, man, listen. Uh, I got one body. I'll make it two. Uh, fuck. All right. All right. So, so you think, you know, and like I said, I don't think either one of us are very close to the situation, but you think that's what happened with Duck? Someone put some money on his head? Yeah, I think he had a bag on his head. Nigga spray you like that, it's a bag involved. Uh, I mean, his mom said the same thing. She she felt it was an assassination. and She felt that it was a hit. And they gonna tell who paid them. A lot of stuff gonna come out. A lot of stuff. Cause that was a hit. Ain't nobody just did that for nothing. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Somebody really uh, wanted him out the way and they didn't care. They didn't care what it was the cost. Um, yeah, yeah, well, rest in peace, FPG Duck, man. It's too bad. It's really, uh, you know, seemed like a very good dude. And um, I never got to meet him, but, you know, I ain't gonna say I kind of jinxed him, but I said he was going to get killed. Man. What do you mean? My nephew showed me a thing before, like when he put me on FGB Duck and he showed me a song when he was talking about everybody like, man, this big nigga be going hard. Check him out. And bro, we in this fucking studio, bro. I said, man, that nigga from the shot, he dissed all them niggas, they going to kill him. Man, I said that shit, bro. When that dude died, that shit. Struck back across my fucking mind, bro. I was like, man, bro, bro. It made me not even want to talk on shit because I feel like I bring bad luck to shit when I say shit. My nephew, when he came down, the same nephew walked in here and say, Boosie, bro, you said that. I say, what? He said, man, they killed that boy from Chicago and showed me the phone with him laying down. I say, bro. I said, bruh, two months later, bruh, I said, bruh, yeah. RIP though, man, we all gotta go. Yeah, we all gotta go, but we, we don't, don't wanna go early right though. Now. Yeah, you don't wanna go in your 20s. You gotta so you don't live wanna, your life, man. I just want Come on, man. You gotta live your life. That's all it's about, making it home to your babies. That's all it's about. <laughs> 